Hello everybody, it's Riley and this is like the first like official video on this channel I guess and like kind of the introduction. I was gonna say introductory but then I changed it to introduction because I was like what if introductory is the wrong word. Anyways, so I asked you guys to give me a few questions and I would answer that um, but before I get into those questions I wanted to go ahead and like cover like what this channel even is. So for some of you guys who don't know, I have a main channel, and that is Elixia, um, and I do gaming content on there from Roblox, and I really want to branch out and like show you guys like my other side and like my personal life and all of that, um, so I, I made this channel so that way you guys can kind of see that. On this channel, you guys will see a lot of my friends and like I said, a lot of my everyday life. There's already a video on here of my best friend and I, Jakey. He lives in Georgia, so I only get to see him once in a while, but um, when I do see him, I'll make videos out of it. Also, my best friend, Kimmy, her and I love the Sturdiola triplets. Like, we just love their content. Um, and I feel like there's something about them that just, like, makes, like, people happy. And, like, that's something, like, I try and do as well. So, um, they definitely inspire me in, like, that kind of way. We actually recently went to their tour because Kimmy loves them, and I was like, yeah, let's go! Um, so, we want to do, like, car videos kind of like they do, because we think they're so funny, and literally we'll just be, like, sitting there cracking up. Um, I don't know how frequently we'll really do them, um, but, yeah, my sister will also be included with them, so, yeah. Those will probably start some point in the spring, maybe the end of winter, I don't know. If you guys have any video ideas that you want to see from me, definitely let me know in the comments because there's a lot that I already have planned up that are really fun. Um, my problem is, is I feel like I'm like a really boring person. Like I feel like everyone around me is so funny and like makes the funniest jokes and I just feel so like bland and like I just kind of go with it. So I'm also I guess kind of using this channel as a way to like find myself and like that part of me so that way because I feel like I am kind of insecure about that and like how boring I feel like I just am I just feel like I'm kind of like obviously we'll get into it in the Q&A but like I'm 17 and I feel like I'm supposed to be like crazy and like having like the time of my life and like living out my teenage years but like I also like can't <laughs> like I feel like I act like an adult a lot of the time like I've been get I've literally been given that comment multiple times it's like oh like are you sure like you're 17 like you literally seem like an adult which like I take as a compliment because it makes me feel like yay I'm mature but like at the same time it's like oh so like okay I'm boring cool I don't know so I definitely want to branch out of that but I think a lot of it has to do with, like my anxiety and like my anxiety kind of stopped me from doing a lot of the things that like I feel like would be fun but like it's like, nope, shouldn't be doing that. Don't do that. So yeah, I guess that was like a little bit about me um, and an introduction to the channel. So now let's get into the questions that you guys asked me. Thank you for asking me these questions. I really greatly appreciate it. If you want to be able to ask me more questions for videos like these, follow me on Instagram at official elixia and you will possibly be included. Okay, so the first question we're going to start off with is actually one that I'm sure is super popular. It's, are you going to hang out with Jakey again? Which, as I mentioned, Jakey is the friend that I have a video with on this channel. And the answer to that is yes, I will be there March 30th. Um, I'm going to be spending the weekend with him because we're going to see Joshua Bassett. He is literally my favorite musician, my idol. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to have the time of our lives. And then after that, probably again in the summer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for that concert. I'm actually going to be traveling quite a bit this spring, so I'll try to be able to vlog that if you guys want that. So yeah, let me know. I'll be going a few places, so um, yeah, maybe we can make vlogs out of some of those places. The next one is my best memory. That's a really hard one. I feel like there's so many, so many. I guess my best memory is probably when I went to see Joshua Bassett in concert. I cried. I was so happy. I feel like I was the happiest I've ever been in that moment. Um, I also... New Year's was a lot of fun. I hung out with Jakey and we um we had the time of our lives. We played the game of life a lot. I like broke a baby's head off. Oh like that's <laughs> so bad. I'll put a picture of it, but uh yeah, we we had a lot of fun. I also played Clue for the first time, which that game's actually like low-key fun, so hot wing, buffalo, pretzels. Kimmy got me out of these. You should get them. I'm not a pretzel girl, but like these are like good. They're not something I'd eat all the time, but occasionally 
yeah i don't know i just i laugh a lot i find like almost everything funny i try to find the good in everything so um I also really enjoyed my friend Kimmy and I. We recently went down to New York City, like, by ourselves. We, like, rented an Airbnb. We had so much fun. Um, there was definitely a few stressful moments where I had a lot of anxiety. Um, but, like, other than that, like, the trip was a lot of fun. And, you know, we were out in Manhattan at, like, late at night. Like, we had, we just had a lot of fun. Like, it was just us. Um, or, I don't know. It was, just a, it was just a lot of fun. The next one is, are you going to continue YouTube in the future? I want to be able to do YouTube as long as I possibly can. I have, I'm not going to raise my, I was going to put my leg up, but like I'm actually not going to because I'm going to wearing sweatpants. I want to do YouTube as long as I possibly can. I love creating content for you guys. I love um, being able to build this community and be able to chat with you guys and hopefully inspire people. I've also made so many friends from doing YouTube that like I relate to so much and I've like met people like my sa the same birthday and like, we're like, oh yeah, like if I go to that state, like let's meet up. Like I've literally met my best friends through doing YouTube. So I want to be able to do YouTube as long as I can. Um, and if I don't, if I'm not doing YouTube, I still want to do something in like the social media content world because it just, I feel like is so, it's, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I know a lot about it and I just really enjoy it. And I feel like there's so much improvement that can be done. Like I've said about a hundred times, I feel like I'm such a boring person, but like the fact that I was able to kind of create a community and an audience, like it kind of, that kind of helps me a little bit um, with that aspect of like social media. Like maybe if, even though I might think I'm boring, like I guess I can still create content and people will still like me. So that helps with that. Cause like, you know, in my personal life, I'm like, Mm, like I still struggle with that but like on social media I don't I guess I don't know the next one was a very popular one um and it's love life question mark um so um <laughs> I don't I don't know it's not something that's very important to me right now or it's never really ever been important to me I just kind of want to like live my life now because there's so many like well hope let's uh pray that i have a lot more left to live but like all that life that i have left to live is you know gonna be filled with love and all of that and that's when i can worry about that these years right now should be just about me and figuring myself out and you know trying to love myself as much as i can um without having to have another person to rely on for those emotions and feelings I guess you could say it's non-existent, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just not something I find very important. Um, maybe in the future, I'm sure I will, but I don't know. Right now, I've I've never really cared for it. Like I've never, like I've never like. Oh, this sounds so mean. I've never like actually like had romantic feelings like full out for a person like that I personally know. Like, celebrities, yes, I've fallen in love with multiple celebrities, as you guys would know. Um, but, like, a, any, like, I've never, like, had a crush at school, I've never fallen in love with anybody, like, it's just not something that I'm worried about or very concerned about, you know, if it comes, it comes, I don't, like, sure, come on in, but it's not something that's very important to me, like I said, right now, but, you know, I am gonna be 18 this year, so, Josh Shabasset, hit me up. Don't ever show him that. What if I just ruined all my chances of ever marrying him? That's fun. I think that's another thing that really affects this whole love life thing is the fact that I literally fall in love with celebrities. It's like, is this girl even mentally okay? Probably not. The next one is, how have you been honestly? Um, I That's one of my favorite questions to be asked literally is how are you? Um, Because I feel like I don't ask myself that enough and I think that's very important to do and start doing. Um, I want to start journaling. I did journal before and I kind of got out of it, but I want to start doing it again. Once in a while when I'm really stressed, I'll like open my notes app and I'll like write these huge paragraphs about like what's going on, my feelings, like how I want it to be better, what I can do to make it feel better. Um, but I really feel like I need to start journaling like on pen and paper. I don't know. And I need to do it like daily and not like just when I'm stressed. But I think I've been a bit stressed recently and I think it just has been coming down to like just being stressed with youtube and whatnot but like besides youtube i think i've been really good um yeah i've been talking with my friends a lot um I, like i said i just got back from traveling and i have more traveling to do this spring 
so I'm really excited for that. I'm kind of stressed about like all of that. So like once again, that has that plays a factor in stress and anxiety. Um, but I'm just hoping that the trips will be like relaxing. Also, if it's starting to get dark, like yeah, I'm filming this like after like it's starting the sun's starting to set. So if the lighting changes, you know why. But yeah, I think I've been okay recently. Um, I've definitely been better, but um, you know, only up from here. You know, things will get better all in due time that's a song that that was a reference right there to josh about the song all in due time if you're ever going through a hard time listen to that song whenever i'm like bawling my eyes out or i need a good cry there's a fire so anyways um hope they're okay um, whenever I need a good cry or, like, I know I'm, like, not okay, I will stream that song because it gets me, it makes me feel so much less alone, like, hearing that, like, those are emotions that, like, everyone feels and it's, like, it'll get better all in due time. Um, one of my favorite things from that song, there's so many, but, like, one of them is, um, and maybe someday it'll all fade away and the weight of the world won't be mine because there's so many times where I just feel like I just have all the pressure put on me and I think a lot of that's like in my head as well. Like it doesn't have to be, but I just do that to myself. Should I turn the lights on? Maybe. Is that better? Whoa. Miller. Oh my god. How do I turn this off? Okay. So yeah, anyways, I feel like there's a lot of times where like I'm putting the pressure on myself and like people around me aren't like trying to do that or like anything but like I just won't accept help and like I'm just I I'm a very independent person like I have to do everything by myself for myself so I need to get better at that and like allowing help and allowing people to do things for me but you know I'll in due time I'll I'll get better at it next is what would you like to do in the future like I said I would love to be able to do YouTube as long as I can you know and if I can make like a real career out of it like that'd be ideal I guess like I not complaining i would enjoy that and i really hope this vlog channel kind of helps with that and like if this vlog channel was the reason that like i have like a real youtube career like that'd be insane and i would love to be able to you know just record my daily life for memories but like also like inspire and like meet new people from that the next one is how do you feel about graduating high school for so for some of you guys who maybe don't know um I was a senior this year and school just was like really mentally draining for me like i was in public school this year um for my senior year for literally a month and i missed at least i missed or left early at least one day a week um in september and i don't know this year or just school in general was just really mentally draining i just i literally couldn't do it anymore like i was coming home sad like every day sleeping like i just i couldn't do it anymore and like the like the other problem was the fact that I am a, like, I was a senior in high school, so, like, we weren't doing anything, I wasn't getting any work, nothing was challenging, like, there was just nothing going on for me, so I was like, why do I even need to be here? So, I decided, um, to start homeschool, and, um, with homeschool, I got to, like, go at my own pace, so I finished school December 1st, and I started October 1st, um, so... Yeah, I finished senior year and I'm really happy because now I get to spend all of my time doing YouTube and um, figuring myself out more. I'm in no way sad because like I said, I hated high school. I've hated school for years. Um, so I'm just really glad that I'm done with it. And obviously, you know, I have, I'll be going to college um, next year, but it'll be online as well so yeah no i'm really glad that i'm done with high school it was terrible for me i hit it all four years junior year was the worst year for me i was i was it was so bad it was so junior year was just terrible i literally oh my god and i think another reason that senior year was so stressful and bad for me is i had such an awful summer going into senior year like i cried more than i feel like i've ever cried i was the most stressed like i don't know I literally had like it, it was just it was a it was a bad summer it was the worst summer of my life the worst time of my life obviously there was like some people there for me that like made it really great but I guess all around it was just the worst summer yeah I did learn this summer though that um when I'm super stressed out I enjoy cleaning and I deep clean so that was a fun thing to learn because I've, I've never been as stressed as I was until like that summer 
and there was just a night where I literally cleaned my whole room. I like vacuumed it. I like dusted. I was like, what the heck? I did like all in like two hours. Okay, go girl. Like be stressed more often, but like also please don't because that was terrible. It was so bad. The next one is where do you see yourself in five years? So hopefully I'm living in like in New York City. If not New York City, I really want to live in Los Angeles for a little bit. I think a lot of that has to do with like the social media part of me and like wanting to pursue that because um, I plan on going to college for music management so like obviously like New York City and LA are like the biggest uh, hot spots for that so I really want to live in one of those two areas. I'm also like a major city, big city girl. I like to be able to go out and do things so uh, yeah one of those two for sure. The next one is coping strategies and I think that's an amazing question um, that somebody asked. I think that's one of my favorite questions. I feel like I'm still learning my own coping strategies obviously but I think a lot of it I think when I'm stressed out I literally I have to put my headphones on and I have to listen to music predominantly Joshua Bassett like um when I was on the train to come home from New York City I was so stressed out I just had like that day was just so stressful for me I was like I was like on the verge of tears I started crying and I put my headphones on and listened to Joshua was crying to him because he was able to comfort me in that way so i a lot of it is um his music and whatnot because it makes me feel like i said a lot less alone and i just i really enjoy his music so that's a major that's a major coping strategy for me um as well as journaling like i said i when i'm stressed out and i need to rant i i don't enjoy ranting to my friends because i just feel like i always need to be the mature adult one that like it's always there for everybody else, which I know my friends would allow me to rant to them whenever I wanted, but for the most part, I usually don't. Um, I just go to my notes app and I rant in there. So I think that's a major one. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's definitely a few more, but I think those are the big two. The next one is, what are you most excited for in 2023? That's a really good question as well. Um, I'm excited for all the traveling that I have coming up and going to LA for the first time because I'll be going to LA in April and possibly June. I'm really excited for all of that and to be able to explore and venture out um, and see new things, new places, new people. That's the most fun part about traveling for me. I also hope to see this channel expand because that'd be so exciting and like I said, I do want something to come out of this. The next one is top fave songs. Oh my gosh. So obviously they're like all going to be Joshua Bassett, but um, my favorite song of all time by him is anyone else. My favorite song in general, um, just for like the feeling it gives me. But like, I also really love Smoke Slow. Um, that's another really big one. Do It All Again is a favorite. Not by him. I really love Say You Won't Let Go by James Arthur. I think James Arthur literally like writes like journal entry songs. His songs are so good. Like they're like wedding songs. They're just so good. Um, oh, there's another one that I recently started listening to that I discovered. Oh, what's it called? It's like, is it called Can I Be Him? I'll like put a picture of it if it's not what it's called, but it's so good. I like saw it on TikTok. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, I also love like Jack Harlow. I love like literally any of his songs. Jack Harlow is great. Um, which you wouldn't expect from me because I hate rap, but like Jack Harlow, I love Jack Harlow. Like I was cleaning my room the other day, just blasting Jack Harlow in my ears and my beats. Obviously, I love sad songs. Like that's also probably another problem, but you know. The last question that we're gonna end this one off with, which is um a more popular question that I've been getting recently, is. Josh or Matt? So, um, oh, <laughs> so you guys have been asking me this because, like I said, I went and saw the Sturdy Yellow Triplets recently and I posted pictures from it and I put hashtag Matt Girl because I just relate to Matt the most. Like, I, I don't know. I just, I really relate to him in a lot of ways and I think a lot of that thing, like anxiety and he's been very vocal about being a boring person and that made me want to be more vocal about that, especially in this video. Like, a, you know, it just, it made me feel more normal. Like, I've never heard somebody say that before until he said it. I was like, oh, it's so, like, it's not weird. Like, it's not just me. So, yeah, I just, I relate to him the, ma the most. So, I put hashtag Matt girl. Um, and from there, um, I got a lot of, like, oh, so, like, you're done with Josh and Bassett? Like, Josh or Matt? Like, this is the dying question. We need to know. I got so many DMs. And the answer to that is, anyways... So that was the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it so much. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Love you. Mwah!